So it's same in, in the morning and we are just doing the final touches before we leave to Romania. We've been packing the car, I think, until midnight at least, as it was not that easy to pack four people, spare parts, food and everything in this short sprinter which we have. But we are just a few minutes from the departure. We didn't have time to make a coffee as we were already late, so uh, my goal for an upcoming few minutes is to make a coffee and I think we will have to make it while rolling on the highway, right? You cannot wait for coffee? No, she needs one. Nothing starts without a coffee, right? <laughs> Do you have the big netep? at the gas station we needed to fill up the car and also put the stickers on the car as it's an organized event which we are about to attend and it's officially starting tomorrow the weather is on our side it's beautiful it's sunny day and also it's warm which is perfect because it's not raining it's not freezing so yeah it's starting very nice Having these stickers on the car is really good because we can recognize other members who are attending the rally and it's nice because we already met a few on the highway and it's, uh, we could wave to each other and we'll all meet in, at the campsite in Romania this evening. There will be probably 60 cars and much more people so it's a quite big group so can't wait to see it but i think that we will arrive after the sunset because the the road wasn't so good so far as uh, before budapest there was a huge traffic jam and we lost probably even like 90 minutes we were also stand still for some time our second stop at another gas station in hungary but we needed to stop because the small bugs are on our windshield and it was almost impossible to see through I don't know what was going on, what season it is. We've just crossed the borders with Romania, so let the adventure begin. First of all, we want to find some grocery store where we need to buy food supplies and then we good. <laughs> Trying to find some local stuff, but found out pretty quickly that there is like a heart with a flag of Romania that means that's the product from Romania so that's pretty cool all right so we have the butter guys we survived the first night and was surprisingly better than I thought it's so foggy this morning and it's really chilly but the one was really well isolated was really surprised it wasn't cold at all and we didn't even hear noises today's morning we found out that there was probably a bear in the camp. The dogs from people who have dogs were barking like crazy in the night. Which I heard actually, but I just <laughs> stayed in the bed. I was so tired. We are packing the car, making a morning coffee, 
and we'll have some breakfast and then it's time to continue our journey so officially this is the first day this is the official start day one of trans Carpathia rally We couldn't resist and we needed to stop just by the road. There's a wreckage of some old aircraft, quite a big one. I don't think we landed here, but it has everything here. The wings, front wings, stabilizer, everything. Huh? Fiberglass. Good. Fiberglass. Yeah, right. fiberglass. Looks like it's aluminum, painted and stuff, but it's, it's fiberglass. Yeah, huh, but it's probably a popular tourist attraction. <laughs> But let's go! What's the next stop for us? Okay. Next stop, not to crash. Oh, no. Yeah, not to crash, that's the first rule. Second rule is that we always follow the road we can take back in case we cannot reach the end point. Basically, now we reach the point where we need to decide which point we will take. Uh, we can go left and right. And we were told if we can make the first 200 to 300 meters long steep climb, we'll be able to do the route B, which is nicer, longer and harder as well. And Lucas is just lowering the pressure in the tires, right? Yep. So we go low as to 1.5 bar or 22 psi. We get we have the psi gauge, so yeah. psi for us. Yeah. Right now we are at like little over 30 still. Yeah. Just to get a more tractions as this van is only real wheel drive, so all power goes just to two wheels. How you feel, Natalia? Downloading all the offline maps. First day, but the struggle is real. <laughs> it's always funny that people having some confusion here. And these roads are really one way. And to be able to go around somebody, you need to find a good spot. <laughs> As you see, people are using very interesting vehicles. Transporter T4. We just entered an area of like abandoned small mountain village with a small wooden houses. I mean, they are falling apart quite a lot, but still 
with this foggy atmosphere. Wow. It has been here for a while. Yeah, this one's been here for a while, but this one has been here for eternity, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three stages. Pre-collapse, in-collapse, collapsed. Alright, so we have the first crossing of the river. The water level is like under the knees. But overall, the nature over here is so calm and peaceful. You hear nothing else, just the water running. Wow, what an adventure. We have to inflate the tires a little bit because it was too low. It was at like 22 PSI. And I felt like it was already bulging a little bit. So we had to go to like 28 just oh. to give it a little oomph. How do you feel? About the water crossing. About the water crossing, I am stoked to cross another one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Like you, you just see the wall of water on the left and right at some point, and it's crazy. Good job. Yeah, yeah. literally in the middle of nowhere on a meadow surrounded by forest and a fog and the police officer just came out of nowhere pull over and he said who are you you break the law and we're like uh oh uh, but it looks like it's fine he just you know wanted to see the IDs and he told us not to leave any trash or damage anything also not put on fire i think he was like uh, he just thought that we are going to camp here for a night but we just stopped for a lunch so <laughs> looks like it's fine <laughs> in the end yeah but so far i have to say we met only very nice polite and you know happy romanian people <laughs> okay, so as our car is a little bit wider and the wrap is expensive, I got a tool for the dry uh, bushes to be cleared out. But I only take the dry one, don't worry. He doesn't want to stand on the clutch all day, so I need to run a bit. So we just got to the point where there are quite big rocks on all the possible ways. I mean, people here were choosing quite a different path, but none of them looks very good. I mean, if you look here, it's, yeah, ah, it's not good at all. Here further, this is complete madness. This rain doesn't help at all as uh, Everything is muddy and super slippery and it just adds to the 
the problem we are starting to have, I would say. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It's crazy, yeah. Who would expect this? It's adventure, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to stage for this. It's adventure for sure. <laughs> it's more than adventure. That's the piercer. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I just have a question. If we don't want to really scout one of the best routes, because some may, we may have just one try. No, this is... We have to hit it. No other way, we have to hit it. It's just slippery on rocks, that's it. Brace yourself. <laughs> Are we really doing this, guys? Yep. <laughs> Lucas is moving, he's not stopping. <laughs> I think I jumped out of the car when we were <laughs> yeah, There was spinning. no other way to hit it. I had to just ah, it. if we would stop there we are stuck until just someone comes. The first day, okay? Yeah. okay I, was just, the car. I was jumping out of the car while the real wheels were slipping like crazy. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> I have some skilled driver over here. <laughs> Doing my best. Wow. Oh, but I made you a nice video of the capabilities of Sprinter. Don't wow. Let's see if we didn't ruin some of the capabilities. So it's day two of our rally and it's a little bit more demanding so we are taking videos less but today our first spot is Transfaragashan Mountain Pass. <laughs> Don't laugh. Probably not pronounced like that. Yeah. What? Transfaragashan. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Transfaragashan. Trans <laughs> Transfagarashan. Yeah. Transfagarashan. <laughs> okay, we will learn this today, man. So, Whatever. right now we are entering beautiful Peking foliage forest, which will soon change into the white one because at some point there's already a snow cover and. Yeah, we'll do some shots and going up to 2,040 something meters. Honestly, 
We didn't expect that. From a foliage uh, forest, we entered the mountain pass, which is pretty much covered in snow. The road is a little bit icy, but there were some heavy equipment maintaining it, so it's still, I would say, drivable. But it's freaking cold. It's like minus five degrees Celsius already. From here, you can already see the beginning where we started. It's nice and sunny there with uh, colorful leaves. And right now, a complete different environment. <laughs> Probably not the best dress for me. First problem, real wheel drive, car only will slip down the hill. Right? Yeah, there is literally like uh, one meter of a solid ground then it's just weeds covered with snow which could mislead you tell you like okay there is some traction down there but no but it's just weeds and like a meter of snow no. all right so currently there are two <laughs> our friends from uh, the rally which uh, basically put the ropes uh, and connected two other cars and we want to put <laughs> this heavy boy out of the 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 snow and oh, it's much smaller cars but maybe combined power can be much better so we have to see oh yeah and we are on the road Okay, so recovery was successful and we have to decide what road we'll choose next. These are, here are other guys. <laughs> the view has beautifully cleared out and we are able to see the most famous road in Romania. And it's pretty fascinating, I have to be honest. From the White Fargas Mountains we drove back to the Wally and we have a few more kilometers to drive today. It honestly feels like we experienced each season in the last two days. Now we are back at the lower altitudes and we are about to cross a local viaduct. That's just switching off the parking sensor because we are surrounded by this viaduct. Tighter than expected. Oh shit. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it uh, closed my window. Okay, there is still a chance to return. But yes, this so. is the route. Come on. Yeah, the route. Oh, fell up. So a lot of friends. But that's a different <laughs> oh. Yeah, but still putting out more water. But there's some, a cow. Some Don't traffic on the road. There. I don't know. Try to hoard or <laughs> around, around, around. <laughs> no. Good. Uh, just, Thank just you. Good girl. Be a, be a good, good, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my God. Protection. Safety first. Should have left. <laughs> I can back up. Yeah, buddy. There we go.
As I already mentioned, the people all around here, each of them we meet, they are so beautiful and kind. We just met one woman in the middle of nowhere here in these mountains from one cottage. She said she lives here and we just chat a bit and you know, those people are poor but they look so happy and they are so nice to others and she even wanted to give me a walnut she just grabbed from her tree from the walnut tree it's just so amazing and can you feel the quietness and the beauty this is actually her cottage wow